Would you believe me if I tell you that even today some people believe that by eating some food or by taking some medicines the sex of the baby can be decided whether it will be of baby boy or a baby girl from eating garlics to bananas to some herbal medicines the myths are still very common in our country but let me tell you guys these are all myths the sex of the baby is determined exactly at the time of fertilization that is when the sperm enters into the ovum and forms a zygote so basically the sex of the baby is decided even before the female gets to know that she is pregnant yeah yes so let's understand how the mechanism is the ovum is just of one type carrying 23 number of chromosomes 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome that is x chromosome whereas sperms are of two types carrying 23 chromosomes each one will be carrying 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome x and another type that is 50% of other sperms will be carrying 22 number of autosomes and one sex chromosome y now out of this x and y which sperm fertilizes the ovum actually determines the sex of the baby if the sperm carrying 22 plus x chromosomes fertilizes the ovum then the zygote has got 44 number of autosomes and x and x sex chromosomes forming a female child whereas a sperm carrying 22 plus y fertilizes the ovum the zygote which is formed is 44 plus x and y chromosome forming a baby boy so remember when next time someone says that eating papaya or pomegranate will create a baby boy or baby girl just cut that short because in the microscopic level long time ago the sex of the baby was already decided it is science not superstition and this science only leads us to neglect all the myths and believe what is actually life is i hope the topic is clear thank you